joy is a sign of a heart that loves the Lord very much. These are the very words of St. Maria Domenica Mazzarello. We celebrate her today on her feast day. I am Arlene Sassan, a Salishan educator of Mary Help of Christian School Cebu Incorporated and a Salishan cooperator from Cebu, Philippines, South Province. St. Maria Domenica Mazzarello, together with St. John Bosco, co-founded the Institute of the Daughters of Mary Help of Christians. To all the FMA sisters all over the world, Happy Feast Day! I recall an episode in the life of Mother Mazzarello, an occurrence that is very similar to what we are experiencing now. In 1860, the town of Bornese was struck by the typhoid epidemic. She was still 23 years old at that time and not yet a sister. The villagers were greatly affected. Many died in her neighborhood, and many families were seriously ill, including the family of her relatives. Maria was known for her cheerful spirit and willingness to serve others, to whatever may it cost. Maria took care of her relatives who were very ill with typhoid fever, although she knew that she herself can become a victim. Under her loving care, her relatives recovered, but when she returned home, Maria became ill with the disease. She struggled between life and death. When she recovered, she lost her physical strength that she enjoyed before. She can no longer work in the farm. Thinking about it, it was very unfortunate, but God has another plan for Maria Mazzarello. In a mysterious vision, Maria saw a large building with lots of girls running around in the playground and heard a voice telling her, I entrust them to you. Being infected and very ill of the disease is not an unfortunate moment in the life of Maria Mazzarello, but a moment of grace. When she got healed, she had taken another path. God revealed his beautiful plan for her. Maria was chosen to take care of the poor and abandoned girls and to collaborate with Don Bosco in his mission of saving the souls of the young. In her simplicity, she became the Mother General of the Institute of the Daughters of Mary Help of Christians. Mother Mazzarello is a champion of courage, charity, complete self-giving, and reflection of God's unconditional love. In her joyful disposition, she exhibits a heart that truly loves the Lord. In the example of the life of Mother Mazzarello, I'd like to point out two beautiful things. First, joyful and selfless service for others and for the love of God. I have witnessed this attitude among our frontliners. They do so many sacrifices for our COVID-19 victims and for the humanity. Our medical frontliners and law enforcers, they are risking their lives and even some lost their lives in order to save lives. The rise of COVID-19 cases tend to amount to the amount of work needed to be done by them. I just can't imagine the physical, mental, and emotional fatigue that they are experiencing at this time of crisis, yet they remain very positive. God's grace sustained them to carry on in the fulfillment of their mission joyfully without counting the cost. They are our heroes, and for me, they are like Mother Mazzarella in the modern time. They made concrete gesture of loving God through their joy of serving others unconditionally. Secondly, it is for us to see beyond this COVID-19 crisis. Looking beyond the event is discovering God's beautiful plan for us. We may not be very comfortable in our present situation, but I would like to highlight beautiful things that are happening during this time. I would like to mention a few. We discovered the true meaning of service as many people went out of their way to extend any forms of humanitarian acts to better our present condition. We learned to slow down. Goodbye hectic schedules. Though many people are struggling with boredom, 
This pandemic slows down the whole world. We have plenty of time to be still, to pray, to learn, to learn new crafts, to talk and play with the members of our family. What a beautiful sight to see families praying together. Indeed, COVID-19 created a quality time to bond with our family. Environmental conditions improved. NASA has released satellite images that showed improved quality air as expected since companies are forced to close temporarily their facilities. Travel restrictions also help reduce pollution globally. Carbon emission is reduced that this brought positive impact on the environment. Though it is a sad reality that many lives were taken away and many are affected by this pandemic, we offer them in the hands of the Lord. We continue to pray for the families who have lost their loved ones, that God may bring them comfort and peace in their hearts. God wants us to see beyond. We might have so many beautiful plans in our life, but it is God's purpose that will prevail. As Mother Mazzarella said, only one thing is necessary, that is to save our soul. We must become holy, and through our good works, we help others who are waiting for our help to become holy too. And when we are tired and troubled, let us go and place all our worries in the heart of Jesus, and there we find solace and comfort. May Our Lady help of Christians intercede and protect us in their mantle. We are all in this together, and together we heal as one. Good night, and God bless us all.